there is always friction in a moving object. The unit of friction is called Newton, and in the trains the friction is created between the wheels and the track. This friction is known as rolling friction. To reduce friction and enable smooth acceleration in a car, bearing used. Bearings are components designed to facilitate smooth rotation and minimize friction between moving parts. In the context of wheels on a track, bearings are typically placed at the points where the wheel axle connects to the chassis. Friends, bearings are used in every moving object. In this video, we will show you CTR bearings and spherical roller bearings. CTR, or cartridge taper roller bearings, are used in wagons and LHB type coaches, while spherical roller bearings are used in ICF type coaches. The outer cover of this bearing is called the cup, spacer ring, cage assembly, grease seal, backing ring, and wear ring. The main component of this rolling element is rollers. It provides smooth rotation and transmits the loads to the axle. They are held together by a cage. The cage is used to hold the rollers in the proper orientation so they don't group together. All these rollers are runs outer the cone. The cone acts like a track and guides the rollers. Roller, cage, and cone are together as called cone assembly. The aspherical roller bearing is a rolling element bearing that permits rotation with low friction and permits angular misalignment. It supports the rotating axle in the bore of the inner ring, which may be misaligned in respect to the outer ring. Let's see the different parts. Outer ring. Inner ring. Roller. Cage. The bearing parts are made of nickel, chromium alloy steels. The spherical roller bearings have self-aligning properties, and therefore can automatically adjust to any deviation in the centerline of the axle. If you find this video helpful, please consider sharing it. Just one share from you can help us and inspire me to create more content. Thank you. Let's grow up. Never stop learning.